What's up, guys? Welcome back to DMA and another episode uh, of SevTech Ages of the Sky. I did a little bit of work uh, after the last episode. So basically, we ended the last episode uh, by getting the melter uh, all set up. Uh, it was actually right here. Uh, along with uh, the grills and stuff, but we have made some changes. Uh, I didn't do that much, but I basically just wanted like a little bit bigger of an area uh, and I don't want to use these chests anymore, so I didn't do all that much. Uh, I put some torches down, um, but really this is all that I did. I just made a little platform. Um, we moved the kilns on one side, the grills on the other. Uh, we have some regular furnaces and the uh, the good old new crafting table. That's going to be so good. I don't know if I can make the crafting bench yet. That would be nice. I, I got to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, and then pretty much I just added a few chests. Most of them don't have anything in it. I, I put something in these chests because I'm not really sure if they would catch fire. I mean, they're, they're wooden chests. I'm not sure. They're right next to a fire block. Uh, I don't know if having something in it would prevent that from happening or what, but I, I did it just in case. I don't actually know if it's... I know it spreads, but I'm not sure what it spreads to. Uh, so, it seems like it hasn't caught fire yet. I, th I think we're going to be pretty good. So, uh, And there's really not much organization going on right now. Um, I got like most of my useful crafting items in here, followed by all my blocks, followed by all the animal products, and then just plants. Uh, so that's pretty much all I did. As you can see, not much has changed. We still have these obnoxious trees that we're going to have to deal with. Um, but they, they grow so fast that I'm thinking the only way we're going to be able to deal with this tree is just to set it on fire. Uh, and sit back and watch it burn. With all the horses that are still alive. I don't, I mean, they're not many babies anymore, so they already grew up. The horse population on this island is out of control. They're an invasive species. All the other animals are gone, <laughs> aside from the two that we kept. And uh, yeah, just some there's a horse tweaking over there. All right. So uh, anyway, aside from the base stuff, let's look at what we have next coming up. Uh, so you can see we already did the craft. That was like the first thing we did, followed by the chests. And I also uh, made the, the furnaces, but nothing else has been done yet. Uh, so let's take a look here. Uh, barrels and barrel extensions. Aqueducts, we probably don't have to move water. Uh, the hunting dimension, eh, we could probably skip for now. Uh, really, this is the path that's going to take us. Uh, so anytime you see this symbol and, and these ones that are like a little bit different, they're not squares. Uh, these ones are the progression paths. The rest of them are either optional or they will be required to continue the progression path. But uh, yeah, basically to get into age two, you would need to get into astral sorcery, which is this table right here. Uh, but we're all the way back here. Um, so we do, we will need to make the anvil. So we'll have to get this going. We can finally get crops going. Uh, so we're going to start that today. So first thing we're going to do is set up an area for food. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is find some islands that have the different ore. So we already know that we have copper on this base. We saw malachite was in the corner. So we have to find tin and coal and preferably nearby. We'll check where the cows are um, and see what they have as well. And then if we can, uh, maybe we'll get to the alloy kiln. We'll set up a little spot where we can actually uh, build that. So I hope I didn't like build my initial area too small. Because uh, I'd like the alloy kiln to not be super far away. I mean, we, we have a lot of room to play with if I need to. Like, I can always just make an extension over here. Maybe make a path in between these two chests to the extension. That's probably what we'll do for, like, different machines like that. Uh, but, yeah. So, anyway, let's get set up on... Let's see. Boy, there's actually not a lot of great area to do some farming in. I guess over here. 
We'll cover our old area. And uh, let me grab. It's going to take a while before I learn where all the blocks are, too. Uh, you know what? Let's put the melter back. Heater and then the melter. Whoop. Okay. We'll put those back. And give me... Uh, let's see. We're going to probably need some sticks, right? And then... Boy, I don't have any more cobblestone. I used it all building this platform. That was smart. Um, so let's see. Oh, we, we still have to make sticks the old-fashioned way. Nice and quick. Oops. Oops. If my brain doesn't melt while I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, how do we get an odd number of sticks from that? Let's see. Oh, uh, there it is. Boom. Uh, right. And the other thing we wanted to do... was close this off let's say goodbye to our old home oh and the pig we're gonna leave him down here it'll be our emergency backup in case uh, we ever need you get rid of those okay so just to start um, we might as well just Yeah, that's fine. More food, the better. Actually, uh, give me this. Nah, that tree would be really annoying to take out. Cut. I guess we could have uh, set one up around this as well. We'll need a place for power, like with the, the water mill eventually. So what the hell was that? Oh, nameplates, I guess. Clownfish. That could be my visual. Uh, it probably is. That's messing with that. Uh, so now that we got that, here's the animal thing. Let's plant uh, the seeds, the carrots, the potato. Cool. What else we got? Uh, hemp is definitely going to be needed. But I need a lot of it. Give me these. Um, let's actually, let's take down this tree. If I remember correctly, hemp is super useful. Um, let's take you. that many just yet but we'll want to all right well that's a good start on the crops so at least we'll have something else eventually oh and um i believe we could do apple trees for fruit we have one apple if i remember right we can do yeah here it is um, no way, actually, uh, that's not the thing I was thinking of. Can we make the crushing? You can. Okay, it's just wooden. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, how boot? Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, so I think if we just put an apple in here and jump on it. Hey. Okay, we got an apple seed. These are going to be very useful. Let's just put it right there. Here, give me these. Yeah. Okay. And the apple tree will be very nice. We're going to need more than one, but it's a great start. We hear a zombie. All right. Let's take a look here. What we got going on next. So it's going to be the dowsing rod. Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look and see if we can't find 
Some more stuff. So the dowsing rod's going to need three, okay, of any wood, and then just two sticks. Ooh, we got that going on. Was it like this? Sure was. Okay. So this you can like scan. Whoops. You can scan the ground. If something is in your offhand, you will place a torch. It's very annoying. Uh, you can basically, I, I forget how many blocks. 48 blocks in a straight line. Here's the surface sample. So if we look, nothing of interest. Oh, uh, wow. Really? So surface sample, maybe it doesn't have to be directly underneath. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. So right underneath our stuff, there's some. So that's good. We'll eventually get copper that way. But we might as well go see if we can find the other ones. Look, let's check the mob farm. What do we got? Here we go. Damn. Cool. So there's more copper here. All right, and we want to be marking it, actually. So let's do you. And let's do... Yeah. What? Okay. I guess it didn't have to be on the side like that, but... Okay, and uh, the way that it works is there's only going to be one per chunk. And I imagine the way that this is set up is it's going to be one per island. I'm not sure if the same island will have more than one resource on it. Don't know. No more surface samples. We can see. Ooh. Oh, Corallium. Okay. Well, we can mark that. There won't be a surface sample for that, but we will need it. Oops. God, come on. How does enter not work? Boy, I can't stop hitting enter. Oh, God. Wrong thing. So for me, what I found is uh, it's not easy to get back from the void like this. But if you slow down when you're near water, you can kind of use the water as an elevator. Uh, so it's, it's nice that a lot of islands, like we should just go over there and use that one. Oh, actually, uh, this looks like it has a hole in it. Yeah, pulling the book out will not allow you to fly. Keep that in mind. Okay, that is. Right on. Let's mark it. Okay. Let's grab this. And let's see. Do we have uh, the compass that we do? Um, let's keep the TP in here. A lot of stuff on us we could put back. Okay. Now that we have the compass, let's, let's do this. Um, let's see. So we need to find tin. It says it's located in the birch forest, plains, roofed forest, and savanna biomes. So let's see here. There's a birch forest 715 this way. Um, let's take out the rod. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's go down. But not that far. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, so we see some now. Let's see. So it should be like veins of it, I hope. Uh, so let's just get a little bit while we're here. Okay, let's, uh, oh god, it's nighttime. Uh, let's see, we got a little over two stacks. We also got a ton of marble, uh, which we saw astral sorceries coming up. So we know uh, that that's going to probably not even be enough marble. I don't know. Everything is made from marble in that mod. Uh, so we got a little over two stacks of tin. I hope that's going to be enough to, uh, to keep us fed for a bit. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's go back home.
I like that while I'm flying, holding a torch, my guy is like a, a beacon that's blinking. Uh, I'm like a plane, I needed lights. Sweet helmet. Okay. So, uh, let's see, we got that. Let's keep all of this here. The last thing that we need is coal, but I might as well start this. Like, no reason to not get that started. Ooh, low-range charcoal box. We're running low. Um, but we have tons of wood, though. Let's use this. Let's do this. Give me another two. Bam. We're going to need some chests. And... Let's make... Let's try that for now. Okay, let's get some tin. Oh, uh, not a chest. No. Um, let's get some tin going. And we also don't. Uh, we don't yet have a spot. We're also gonna take this. It's not a good spot. Um, we don't have a spot for the ability to pour this out. Okay. Let's see. We have eleven. Um, that will hopefully be enough. Uh, let's see here. So we just need three. So we'll stick with one. All right, we got that. We got that. All right, so let's set this up. This is good to go. And we want the casting basin. Boom. Let's go there. Put the faucet on. Hello? All right, so we have to fire the faucet, and it can't be done in the kiln. It can only be done on the grill or uh, in there. So it's fine. We put it in here. There we go. And now we should be able to start. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. So we could start, uh, we could start making that happen. Boom. Okay, and then you would take the block and hit it with the hammer. Excellent. We have nine, ten, eight. What can we do with ten right now? The snare for blood magic. That's about it. <laughs> it's going to be used to make bronze, which is, I think, the first thing we can really make stuff out of. Uh, so what we need to do is go get some coal. Um, and then farm out a little bit of our island that has the copper on it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the coal real quick. Okay. Uh, we got about a stack of coal. That should be good. Uh, so let's go back to the base and see if we can get some copper as well. Okay. And about the same deal. We got another two stacks here of copper. So that should hopefully be good for a while. Let me. This is underneath our base. So we're going to want to just make sure that. Uh, enemies can't spawn down here. Um, I'm going to block it off anyway, but just in case. So now we have all three of the resources that we could start with. Um, so why don't we get this stuff cooked up and then we'll see what we can do. Okay. That should be... Uh, what is that? 27 of each? So we'll see what we need next here. At least we got some of both of them. So we're going to have to make bronze out of these two. Uh, but to do that, we're going to need the alloy kiln. Um, you'll need eight kiln blocks and a two by two by two and right click them with an engineering hammer. All right. So we're going to need bricks. Okay. If we look here, I should now, I think I only needed 12, um, or eight, maybe I can't remember. And then we got the sandstone. Uh, so we only need eight blocks. We know that. So I think it's like this. Oops. Yeah, there we go. We just need eight. We'll save the rest. Uh, and we also needed the engineering hammer, which I think is going to take copper. It is. One string, two sticks. Bam. Okay. The engineering hammer. And I built out a little spot on this side here. Uh, let's see. Ooh. 
What did I do with the blocks? Ah, of course. Oops. Okay, and then we hit it with the hammer. Boom. Can even, uh, if we want to, sort of close this off. I might actually add more, or yeah, we'll, we'll keep it like this for now. Cool. All right. And uh, now we can put in uh, both of these. Is it one for one? Um, let's see. So we're going to be making bronze. And uh, let's see. You can get... Oh, no, I think it's just the ingot, right? Yeah, from the kiln. So it's three copper to one tin. We'll get you four. Okay. All right. And then we need a fuel source, which I think I've been putting them all in the other thing, but let's see. Boom. There we go. We're finally going to get bronze. This is our first alloyed metal. And the first thing we could really make, like, gear out of that would be useful. Uh, the mining, the pickaxe is diamond. It's faster than the pickaxe we made out of dark stone. Uh, we were able to find some dark stone. I'm already out of it, actually, but it did help mine things. So it's a little bit faster than the stone pickaxe. So having the copper pickaxe will at least allow us, uh, I mean, the bronze one will at least allow us to, uh, to mine a little bit faster. Let's take it over here. Pretty sure most of it's going to be out of place, but we'll only do three for now. Oops. And boom. Here we go. Yeah. Before I take something out. So that is awesome. We got the kiln. All right. And I think that's a pretty good spot to call it. I think this is the first time that I actually said in the beginning where I'd like to get it. And we managed to get there in one episode. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and we will catch you next time.